I remember uh, when uh, he won the uh, opera, Sydney Opera House competition and uh, his project was publicized in newspapers. Then, of course, uh, I had began to study architecture myself in 1957. I also got to know his uh, early work, his residential work. And uh, I have been following his, his work ever since. Uh, I, I think uh, it is, for me, it is Utzon as a phenomenon, as, as uh, an architect who could, who was very consequent in his uh, uh, development, but at the same time he covered quite a lot of ground formally, from rather historicist work to rather radical uh, work with, uh, you know, industrial standardization and things like that. It's the flexibility and the cap capability to absorb influences that is so remarkable in Utzon, uh, in the same way as in Alvaralto, and no wonder Utzon worked with Alvaralto for a short while. That's one of the most interesting aspects of uh, of um, Utzon is his capacity to uh, combine influences from various cultures, not only uh, Central uh, America, uh, but also uh, Japan and, and China. Um, altogether, modernity has uh, rejected tra tradition. It has not been part of the modernist canon to to build upon a, a respect and understanding of of uh, tradition, whereas uh, Utzon, Utzon's architecture is radical and, and traditional in, in an exceptional manner. It is the layeredness in his, his work, uh, but also the ingenuity uh, he, he, he combines uh, a kind of a historical, a convincing historical narrative with uh, personal invention. Uh, today architects believe that uh, just invention is enough. No, it's not enough. It, uh, the invention has to echo, has to have an echo, and uh, that is what uh, Utzon did beautifully. And uh, he was also able to bring, uh, particularly in the, in the uh, opera uh, project, uh, phenomena which are beyond normal uh, functionalist form making, uh, forms that are complex, uh, very complex in the you know, process of birth, and, and which come close to uh, natural phenomena. That's the miracle of uh, nature, that uh, everything is built of uh, singular cells, but the process results in, in really complex uh, entities. And that was what uh, Utzon mastered, uh, better than perhaps anyone else, exactly that process. There is a naturalness in, in Utzon's work, uh, in, often in works of art and particularly architecture, they appear strained, uh, as if they had, they, they, they had, there was a compulsion that uh, produced them, whereas Utzon's works, uh, are like, uh, you know, uh, natural phenomena that uh, they just came about. It's easy uh, to know and also uh, deduct when looking at his sketches that they are results of really hard labor and a lot of work, but there is an effortlessness which is uh, so uh, comforting and, and enjoyable. Well, by epic uh, dimension, I mean an architectural narrative, a, a, 
uh, wide and deep uh, human story. Too much of uh, uh, architecture nowadays uh, is rather one-dimensional. Uh, they are visual one-liners often, whereas uh, the work of uh, Utzon and Alto and Kahn, uh, Frank Lloyd Wright, uh, Le Corbusier, the great ones, they have uh, a uh, uh, width and depth uh, of story. They echo uh, historical things. Uh, they echo primordial things while being uh, of our time. So it's this uh, depth and width uh, of the story that makes them epic in the same sense as uh, great writers uh, can uh, write about, reveal the essence of human life in a, in a single novel. Well, one of the miracles of any artistic, great artistic work is that they are timeless. As Paul Valéry, the poet, writes, an artist is worth a thousand centuries. Uh, it is a fact that uh, greatness is measured by this timelessness. Today we uh, enjoy a cave painting of 25,000 years just as much as a painting of today. It's the miracle of art that uh, it conveys the presence of the maker and, and the uh, presence of human consciousness. Uh, brings it right here. And uh, that is the quality of uh, the great works of uh, Aldo and Utzon, that uh, they will forever have, have their meaning, because they, have, they are dealing with constants in the human experiential world and mind, mental world. One of the m most important uh, uh, Legacies of Woodson is, is the importance of uh, tradition, traditions, I would say, in plural, uh, and a sense of uh, cultural continuum. I myself was educated in the modernist way of thinking when his history was seen as a burden. And uh, I, as a student and young architect, I didn't care much about history. Now I uh, uh, find it uh, increasingly essential in, in everything, the, the historical echo. And um, I think uh, Utzon's work exemplifies beautifully how an invention has to be uh, grounded in understanding the continuum of culture. That is what many other uh, radical artistic thinkers uh, have also said. I'm thinking of Igor Stravinsky, for instance, who was a arch radical of music, but he, he uh, wrote about the importance of tradition. I hope uh, young architects would be interested in in Utzon and Alto, and well, uh, young minds have to be interested in, in everything. Um, we, I think it is nonsense that uh, anyone could, you know, make uh, meaningful artworks alone. No, studying for me is uh, mostly a way of finding yourself in the middle of, uh, of that, all those greats, somehow you reflect yourself next to the greats like Utzon. And uh, then you know how good or bad you are when you compare yourself somehow unconsciously. So uh, becoming almost, I would say, friends with the, the greats is important. I never met Utzon. I wrote a letter to him a couple of months before he died. But um, I have become friends with uh, 
art artists and architects who would have died 400 years ago. That's how important uh, history is.